uh, hi uh, in this tutorial we'll see how to uh, request in node.js get and post requests in node.js using express 4 uh, so first here is the tutorial here you can find all the download codes and uh, all other information so let's see how it's working so first we'll go to the code based how it's so for sure what we have is uh, one package.json file and another is a server.json file package.json file contain all the required uh, installation part that is uh, express and uh, uh, express mysql and body parser which will use in that code base part so yeah, in server.js is all the code code based so uh, you see the code first here is a package.json file so is a simple dependencies which will install uh, make sure uh, you have installed uh, npm and the uh, node in your system before running this so here first we'll install all the required dependencies by typing npm install here we'll install all the uh, required dependencies that is uh, mysql express and uh, body parser so here you can see that all required dependencies are installed so now we'll start the server by typing node server.js so here you can see that connected and listen on port 8080 and uh, now we'll see whether the server is running or not here is uh, yeah uh, on localhost 8080 port where we are server is running and you are showing the data that uh, welcome to get and post request demo so uh, now it's server is running successfully so first we'll check how it's working so first we'll go to server.js file here you can see that in app we have to call that express function for uh, routing purpose here is the http where the server we're going to run mysql connection part body parser here is the connection of mysql where you can see that host username password and the database name uh, here we are going to use url encoded extended false and uh, body parser json data will going to handle it and uh, from here you can see that uh, we have called that server 8080 by typing just slash so on that base path you can see that uh, this following a welcome to get and post request demo uh, so that is you can see here uh, so now first we'll see the get request so how we're going to you see how we're going to fetch the get request that is uh, by typing app dot get here is the routing part uh, routing url route by typing this in url fetch data will uh, this functionality will perform and based on that it will uh, response in json data so here what we are doing is uh, making make one connection query query to fetch all the data which are in a testing table so for showing this data I've used postman you can see here so here is the fetch data part so by typing HTML HTTP local host 8080 fetch data that will fetch all the data it's in their uh, table so here you can see that these are the data which are in that table that is uh, test uh, these are the two json uh, two reform data uh, so here i will going to fetch the data by here is the url and here is the get request 
so this is how is get request works now we'll see how post request works app dot post instead of get we are going to use post I have created a sample login things for this so by in login we can use that uh, so for basically we have to pass the two thing into login routing that is uh, email and the password that is request dot body dot email so these are the request which are coming from the client side uh, here you can get in that email and the password and then we'll make one connection dot query to check whether user is exist or not so here is if the user is exist then it will show the successful day login and if it's not then it will show the email id or password is incorrect so let's check that in uh, here so here i am going to do login request so here i'll add uh, one basic temporary data which is not existing uh, table so here we'll send the request here it will show the require email id or password doesn't exist in table uh, which is the post request here you can see that localhost 8080 slash login and here is the post request so we'll check now uh, for if user is existing uh, what will show in json so here is the email id which is present in table and here is, is the password test so we'll send that request here you can see that uh, user is successfully logging uh, very easily so here we are handling the data from in server.js by uh, app.post in login part so here how we handle get and post request using uh, uh, in node.js using express 4